is uh, Soul and Capricorn. We're going to look at some uh, energies for you this upcoming week, beginning July uh, 20th and uh, ending, starting July 20th and ending July 26th. The messages will be for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Capricorn Rising signs. My fellow Cappies, I hope all is well. Please sit back, relax, and I hope that you enjoy your reading. All right, Capricorn. Let's see what the energy is going to be for you potentially coming up this week. Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Capricorn Rising Sign. Capricorn, I'm using the Eight Coins uh, Tattoo Tarot deck uh, once again to deliver your messages. The uh, messages again will be for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Capricorn Rising Signs. Capricorn, I really do hope you guys are doing well. I really do. Um, as things are heating up here, worldly, <laughs> getting crazy. Anyway. So let's see how your week uh, may potentially turn out. Okay. All right, so we're going to start the shadow energy off for you, Capricorn. And we're going to start off with the, your energy, the Page of Pentacles, okay? So there's something new that's about to start or begin. Someone could be starting a new job. Someone could be actually getting a, a promotion. Um, this could be anything related to a business idea, starting to save money, and so forth. Someone has a job interview with Page of Pentacles in this particular deck with this clock. I always pick up that somebody has an appointment or a job interview and is specific um, in terms of time. So don't be late if you got an appointment um, and it's a job, you know, a job interview. Be on time. All right. That could be just a reminder. Page of Pentacles. Represent your energy, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So there's something new about to begin. This is, um, yeah, business investments and, and all kinds of stuff. Maybe somebody, I wonder if somebody is running, see, I see pearls here and jewelry and stuff like that. So I wonder if someone is uh, into uh, jewelry or fashion or something like that and it's a business. Hmm, interesting. So that's your shadow energy, uh, Capricorn. It may be energy that plays out along with the rest of the cards um, that are going to be selected. And you have more of your energy. This is your focus. This is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, definitely money coming in, somebody getting a job or a pay raise or promotion. Um, also resources of, uh, you know, money could possibly be coming in from uh, unexpected sources for you. The attributes of this card is always, um, you know, someone who is dependable, someone who is reliable, someone that you can um, definitely not only rely on, but someone who is stable, possibly in your life or that's all those energies are you. And, you know, that's what you have to contribute to someone else. So there could be someone coming along here and, you know, helping you out in a financial situation, uh, Capricorn or Capricorn, you might be helping someone out financially because this is a supportive role here a supportive night and uh, that's what this night stands for okay that I'm here to support you you can depend on me uh, you can rely on me I'm steady I'm stable I can make you feel secure and so forth but then also too those attributes could be expressed from you to other people so this is uh, a good card to start off with what's crossing that um oh wow What's crossing that <laughs> Knight of Pentacles is your <laughs> more of your energy is the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so there we go. Somebody is being interviewed or has a job interview this upcoming week. Someone is going to get that job. Someone is going to get promoted. Someone is going to be, uh, you know, helping, you know, I think it's Capricorn helping someone out financially. This is business investment starting to save money for the first time. It doesn't really matter. Um... So this is good. I like that. Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. Yeah, someone starting their own business. For the first time, because the Ace is always the start of something new. Page of uh, Pentacles is also representative of that energy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're starting off uh, really well here, Capricorn. Let's keep it going. Now, what's up next is, yeah, you got the support of the Knight of Cups now. Someone who is 
not only reliable or dependable, but you also got the emotional support. He is facing in the direction of the other knight. So that is a mirror. And then what's in between is the Ace of Pentacles. But this could also be indicative of a business connection or a part, you know, a business partnership forming, a new business uh, partnership forming. This could be also indicative of a new uh, romantic relationship, notwithstanding a platonic friendship that could also develop as well. So you have the dependability, you have the uh, reliability and all that other stuff. Now you have the emotional support. Somebody is, uh, there's an entrance here. So it could be that I'm already reading for Capricorns who are already involved, linked somehow in some fashion to water signs, cancer specifically. I don't know why I said cancer because maybe because I am cancer. Uh, but Capricorn's linked to a water sign. And then, you know, uh, I don't speak about it often, but earth and, earth and water, they mix. Okay, so it's a good mixture. Uh, oftentimes, um, water signs or earth signs do very well together, whether it's in a business connection or, uh, you know, a relationship. romantic relationship. So yes, the Knight of Cups represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Something good is on its way for a Capricorn. Or let me rephrase that. Something good is about to happen for you this upcoming week. It's either work-related or it's, it's connected to work. And it's also connected to, um, it could be connected to work, finance, some type of business. But then there's um exchanges with other people's energies as well in a good way not a bad way then we have okay so this is the <laughs> it never fails this is you know as we go along and we're getting this good energy and stuff there's always that that negative ding card that comes through for whatever reason this three of swords is showing up here for you capricorn it's here all right so there's a separation it's the card of <laughs> painful decisions Making three painful choices, possibly interference is always relative to the other man, other woman when it comes to a love triangle, uh, loss of a pet. But I don't talk about physical loss. I'm talking about the pet runs away and then the family's left grieving uh, because the pet got out. And, you know, they're upset about that because they're worried or concerned that the pet might get hurt, might get, you know, might get killed or something like that. This is. Uh, separation and grief for those uh, Capricorns who are dealing with relationships that are at a distance. Now they could be romantic, they could be platonic or whatever. There's distance that separates you that, that comes between you and there's somebody that's upset or sad. This is pending divorces. Always pending divorces for me. Yes. Three of Swords is here. It's following the uh, well, you know what? Just to look at this here. Let me give you an instance here. This is how I like to read these energies. This back of this Knight of Cups is to this Three of Swords. All right, so that could be indicative of, well, it could be a separation. That could be that separation. I would more or less seen the separation coming if the Three of Swords had preceded the Knight of Cups. There was a breakup here. This indicates a definite breakup. But for whatever reason, the back is to this um, Three of Swords. So it, I don't know if it is um, a relationship that I'm reading for a Capricorn and a separation has already taken place. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to mean or be that it was a, a water sign. It could be, but it doesn't have to be. So that's how I'm feeling it. So this would be a pending separation or a separation that's about to occur. When the back is to the Three of Swords, a knight, then that means it's already happened. Okay, and you're just going through, somebody's going through, you know, those um, relationship changes, the breakup and, and whatnot. All right, so Three of Swords is here and it represents Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, energies and I hope I made sense with that uh, we have more of your energies here uh, Capricorn so there's an imbalance going on two of Pentacles is showing up now 
Uh, so, you know, juggling two things, I as I always say, two relationships, two jobs. It could be just someone working part time just to earn some additional income. But it's a small imbalance. It could be just you trying to figure out your, um, you know, your financials this upcoming week and doing your checkbook. And making sure that everything is okay and moving forward. So I wouldn't worry too much about the Two of Pentacles, uh, not this time around. All right, so following that energy of the Two of Pentacles representing you, uh, Taurus and um, Virgo, we have the Major Arcana, the Strength card. So now we have uh, the Strength card showing up here. So I feel that if the Three of Swords energy opens up in some kind of way, or if I had already discussed uh, something that has already occurred, then whoever this Capricorn is or whoever the person that the Capricorn in terms of the party involved, there's strength here that's available for you. So you're feeling all powerful. You're feeling all courageous. Um, you're feeling strong. This is part of being passionate about something, things heating up in a good way. So nothing, nothing that should be going on for you this upcoming week. It, even if the Three of Swords is here, that you will not be able to handle. This is moving about here, Capricorn, uh, without any fears, okay? And then having the strength and the courage to uh, deal with anything that may, um, um, you know, that you may come up with or have to encounter or have to deal with. Uh, the strength is on your side. This is a very powerful card here. It's a very dominant card as well. So... It's a card of um, infinity, the infinity signal, signal, or sign, I should say, over top of the head, which is continuous. So there's nothing that, you know, could go on, nothing that could come up with, you know, for you this upcoming week that you're not going to be able to uh, handle. Following the Major Arcana, the Strength Card Capricorn, we have the um, Queen of Wands. So we have the Queen of Wands showing up here. So this is a card of of being focused that would be connected to the um knight of cups so that could be a new formation of a relationship for someone uh this is still part of being passionate about something being focused about something sexual energy sexual expression for those females i always throw in hot flashes and <laughs> i always get that no matter what uh so but yeah this is um you know for the most part, being passionate about any types of extensions, if it's related to your relationships, your, you know, your current relationships, your family, your extended family, your children, your hobby. It could be a new hobby that you start up. It could be passion. You could be passionate about your work. You could be passionate about, you know, um, if you're working for someone, your, your business, if you're working independently, whatever it is, this is a good card. This also could represent male energies as well all right your parents your grandparents and so forth last card that i have for you that uh, queen of wands represents aries leo and sagittarius now we have oh so you finish off with the world card so this uh, this reading is actually good to go for you capricorn okay so but the i like when those I don't like when the Three of Swords or the Tower shows up here, but the dings show up for a reason. And, you know, these are no one's personal readings. And I always say I give a lot of, uh, try to express a lot of energy uh, so that, you know, people can get a feel. Um, but it's not going to, you know, the reading is not going to hit everyone. It's just not going to resonate with everyone. It's just not going to be. But the world card is always about uh opportunities it's also to a relationship card so there's unexpected or expected opportunities or some sort of opportunities that are going to be opened up for you now remember we have the page of pentacles so i was always focused on the energy of someone getting a job having being interviewed getting the job the acceptance of the job is through the ace of pentacles and then um you know, your own energies, what's crossing your own energies, the Knight of Pentacles. So there's strong support and emotions, um, you know, coming up for you this upcoming week in a good way. And I like that. Okay, so this is what I have for you, Capricorn, in terms of presentation. So whatever you decide to do, uh, I always encourage you to do it safely. Stay strong, stay positive. Of course, stay healthy. And I am sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you again. Be well. Bye.